Welcome to Matters Financial and Geopolitical from a Frontier, and thank you as always for stopping by. Macro thoughts, let's go back to Bitcoin. In December of 2017, Bitcoin rose within striking distance of $20,000. Today, the coin has slumped below $4,000, and last was around $3,760. I wrote a piece over the weekend, Armageddon, Crypto, Gedon, and Bitcoin. And I was talking about the fact that in December 2016, I wrote my conviction trade was for 2017 was long Bitcoin. Bitcoin was trading at levels around $1,000 then. Um, and subsequently, as you can see from that graph, we got, as we got up to near, nearly 20000 However, I sort of uh, wrote you know, at the end of November 2017 that a more than 9.7 times price inflation was getting uncomfortably close to outpacing the tulip mania. Um, and then uh, that's when I said get out of it because you know it was going it was going into a parabola. Um, we know now that, uh, as I write this, Bitcoin is trading at 3,750, and I think it's going back to levels below 1,000. I quoted this infamous game, QB, I am hodling, a drunk, semi-coherent, typo-laden rant about his poor trading skills and determination to simply hold his Bitcoin from that point on. I typed D that t title twice because I knew it was wrong the first time, still wrong, whatever he wrote in reference to the now famous misspelling of holding. Why am I holding? I'll tell you why, he continued. It's because I'm a bad trader and I know I'm a bad trader. Yeah, you good traders can spot the highs and the lows, pit pat, piffy, wing, wong, wang, just like that and make a millino buck, sure, no problem, bro. He concluded that the best course was to hold. You can only sell in a bear market if you're a good trader or an illusioned noob. The people in between hold. In a zero-sum game such as this, traders can only take your money if you sell. He then confessed he'd had some whiskey and briefly mused about the spelling of whiskey. And therefore, selling at today's levels, in my opinion, is still a great trade, in part because of this philosophy that a lot of Bitcoin holders have. Uh, 2nd of January was when I put out a notice. I said, I'm no longer bullish Bitcoin. In fact, I'm bearish. 27th of November, Bitcoin, wow, what a ride when I was telling you to take your money off the table, admittedly in, in front of a doubling of the price. And I said, it is a curve each of them feels unmistakably. It is the parabola. They must have guessed once or twice, guessed and refused to believe that everything always collectively had been moving forward toward that purified shape latent in the sky, that shape of no surprise, no second chance, no return, return at hand. And then I left people with the Hunter S. Thompson quote, life should not be a journey to the grave with the intention of arriving safely in a pretty and well-preserved body, but rather to skid in broadside in a cloud of smoke, thoroughly used up, totally worn out, and loudly proclaiming, wow, what a ride. December 2016, when we were at $1,000, we were below that actually, and I said, the optimal portfolio for 2017 is long Bitcoin, long Bitcoin short gold. Bitcoin miners have been hit hard by the cryptocurrencies crash and may be throwing in the towel. You can see this from the hash rate. 